Hi, I'm Nally, and this is Tamara, aka Mama Oracle. If you've been following me and her on Instagram, you know that I've been seeing Mama Oracle for like how many months now? Almost a year. Yeah, almost a year. A year Three in months. April. And yeah. <gasps> Crazy. <laughs> Tamara is a Reiki master. Mm -hmm and we've been doing Reiki weekly since April. Yeah. It's really helped me through my healing journey. I have to say it's probably one of the number one things when people ask how do I deal with the anxiety, whether it's scanxiety, mm -hmm. whether it's just the thought of living and thriving with a stage four cancer diagnosis, I always say Reiki with Mama Oracle. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, that's why, first of all, I just have to say thank you. Thank You're you for welcome. your time. Thank you for your energy. Yeah. And having shared it weekly on Instagram, we get so many questions. Yeah. What is Reiki? How does it work? Can mm -hmm. anyone do Reiki? Can I just see any Reiki master? Mm -hmm. What are the benefits? This is why we thought it was really important to make this video so we can answer all your FAQs. Mm -hmm. For one, let's Talk about Mom Oracle for a bit. <laughs> How did you start Reiki? I started doing Reiki six years ago. I knew nothing about Reiki. Um, it's not something that I never heard of in my life. But I was always super spiritual. Um, I was doing my rituals. And I think that the fact that I was so ingrained in my practice made me attract a lot of people um, who were also spiritual. So I met a woman seven years ago and she told me, I feel like, you know, healing with your hands is like part of your calling. So I'm just going to like initiate you to all the levels, which is something that you don't do usually. Like exactly. you have to do level one, you wait a little bit, then you do level two, then you wait a little bit just to, you know, to get a custom. So to again, it. to answer that, anyone can then learn yeah, to do anyone, Reiki. Anyone. Okay. Anyone. Yeah, um, and so she initiated me to all the levels and I started doing Reiki on myself, on my friends. Um, at the time I was working at the bank, so like I had a full-time job, so like I would have someone coming like once a week or like twice a week. Um, and then two months, you know, two years later, I met um, a shaman and when I did my reading with him, he said like, your calling is healing with your hands. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, actually, I'm like um, initiated in Reiki and he was like, you should continue on that path and not yeah. what you're doing now. Mm -hmm. But at the time I was like, well, you know, I'm going to university full-time, I had my own apartment, I was like, I have to pay my bills and he was yeah. like, you'll see, that's gonna end, you yeah. know. And it did. And then um, I started doing Reiki more. Actually, when I quit my job, I started having more people coming. But it still wasn't like full time. I had like maybe like five people in a week or whatever. And then I went to the Caribbean for two years off and on. I was practicing over there, doing Reiki on the beach, at people's nursing homes. And when I came back and met Nali, this is how it started being like this Aww. whole full-time job. So I have to thank you for Aww. it. Because <laughs> you're everybody who comes, like most of the time it's like, oh, I follow Nali and I saw Nali and I want to try it. Well, so that's the whole point of this vlog and these mm -hmm. videos and my channel is because when I find something that I can that I genuinely really believe can help you, I have to share. And that's both our purposes, yeah, right? Is to share yeah. this type of information yeah. and for you to heal mm -hmm. and for me to help others exactly. heal too. And I feel like I really needed people to, to discover you. Mm -hmm. And the reason why she's full time is because she's the real deal. So <laughs> I would send her people and as mm -hmm. I fell in love with the sessions and with her, so did everyone else. But the number one question we actually even have, because I, I did the whole Instagram poll, I allow people to ask questions, and the first question is, what is Reiki? <laughs> and so you're probably already like halfway through this video, like, okay, that's all nice and all now, but what like, is it? <laughs> what is Reiki? Reiki is an energy healing technique using the hands. So basically, the energy doesn't come from me, it's like universe, universal energy, and I'm just a channel. So the energy comes through my hands and then transfer it into your body and first of all it activates your body's ability to heal itself and um, and it heals you on all the levels mentally physically spiritually emotionally um, and it's meant to bring relaxation so like it's good for stress anxiety um, healing body pains and aches um, cleansing the aura balancing your chakras like it's beneficial on so many levels can you explain what exactly happens when you are putting your hands over me well first I put my hands on different parts of the body starting with the head ending with the feet and what happens is like there's an energy that comes out of my hands and it comes into the body and it flows um, releases blockages if there's any um, cleanses stuff if things need to be cleansed um, activate 
things, for example, your third eye or unblocks your chakras. For everybody who doesn't know what chakras are, it's like you have many chakras, but we have seven main ones, which is the crown, well, starting with the first one, um, the root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, the heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye chakra, and the crown chakra. And when there's blockages there, it can um, either affect you on the physical side or you can feel a certain type of way um, or you can have certain types of thoughts. So what the energy is going to do is unblock it and cleanse it um, so that the energy flows and it promotes well-being. Mm -hmm. Now you're probably like, okay, that sounds great, but how does that make you feel? And I think I can answer that. Mm -hmm. but basically, it's different. For everyone, yeah. right? Everyone but one has. thing that's common though, I will say, in every single session, when the person gets up, they're like, whoa, I feel lighter. Lighter. That's something that comes up a lot. And I can confirm that. Yeah. I do yeah. feel lighter. Personally, when she does the sessions on me, for one, I think like all, everyone that I've said to you also said the same thing, where her hands feel like a heater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah, just yeah, like there's the, something about her energy. Something's going no, on but, here. No, but no, but every Reiki master you go to, you'll you'll feel some heat. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, <laughs> but her funny. hands are like heaters. So if it's a cold winter day, come to tomorrow. <laughs> if you have trouble meditating, I feel like there's something. I guess because of the energy, it really gets you in the zone mm -hmm. and. When do you ever get to really just lie down yeah. for an hour and really go deep within you? And that's something that comes up a lot too. People say like, I wasn't sleeping because I was aware that I was awake, exactly. but I felt like and it's, I felt like I was sleeping. And I said that's the meditative. Yeah, state. it's kind of like you feel like you're yeah. dreaming, yeah. but you're not. You're but not. that's the yeah, meditative yeah, state. Yeah, yeah. So kind of for me personally, it, it took a while to get there, mm -hmm. but I do feel like every time I do Reiki now. I'm in that meditative state and when I am in that state I can go like at first I'll start from like the very first sessions I personally would see colors yeah. and textures and sometimes it would just go black and then suddenly it would start again sometimes I'd have visions or I'd hear a word or I would see things or I would get confirmations I feel like because we do have we're all made of energy like mm -hmm. you yeah. no one we can are argue energy. that we, we are energy from scientists yeah. to spiritualists yeah. 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 everyone understands yeah. that we are our energy. energy. Often we have these blockages, but when you have Reiki done, it kind of creates this flow. Mm -hmm. And that flow, I often feel the flow, mm -hmm. where I always tell her, I feel like yeah. <laughs> there's like some gravitational yeah. pull. Often I'm like, Tamara, yeah, are, you like like, are you like, are you going? I'm like, are you going like this in front of my face? And, <laughs> and she's I'm like, girl, like, I'm like this. <laughs> yeah. And then I feel also like, almost like, water just like yeah it's like washing. circulating yeah so you feel something and when that happens i just feel like it kind of unblocks these little mm -hmm. things where we were stuck whether it's like emotional trauma or... i have a question okay. did you feel like this the first session no okay i didn't okay. I, like the first session i would kind of just see colors mm -hmm. and then like i would often re hear like that voice mm -hmm. just speaking blah 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 yeah, blah yeah. and then it was a matter of like quieting that voice but mm -hmm. even being aware of that voice is a first step because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. three quarters of us kind of just go walking around like zombies yeah. and letting that voice yeah, control yeah, us yeah. but i feel like the first session it was a matter of like hearing the voice mm -hmm. and like what is it saying to seeing colors mm -hmm. to then like every week kind of going deep and then feeling the flow and mm -hmm. feeling the energy and then having those visions and then mm -hmm. having those epiphanies um, good i'm asking because like there's so many people who come and they're like i guess they see your stories and yeah they they're like those, those, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have those expectations of well how come i'm not seeing this how, how come i'm not feeling that yeah the first session Unless you're very sensitive to the energy, you're not. You're most likely not gonna feel as much or like see as much. So it's important that you know um, that you know if you continue, it will grow. Like you've transformed to the point where we now call you Shamanelli <laughs> because <laughs> Shamanelli. you're fully activated, fully unblocked. You know. So, yeah. Um, but it took time like we've been doing this for months it's not with one session it's like with several sessions you literally come every week unless you travel but it takes time you know it's it's not like you just take it as um psychology if you see a psychologist you're not fully healed in one session you have to like Absolutely. go and like the more you go the more you heal and it's the same thing with reiki not only does it heal you it also activates you um it activates your psychic abilities your um, your third eye, your intuition. I feel um, psychic sometimes. Yeah, yeah you are. <laughs> and everything you've told me from like what you've seen is true. It's true.
Bam. But I have to say, Tamara is gifted. And if you do want to accelerate that, her energy is like not like your average Reiki mm -hmm. master. Because I have done Reiki in the past mm -hmm. and um, I never experienced what I'm experiencing with Mama Oracle. Because I also think, I think her name Oracle come is there for a reason. Where yeah. I do believe she is also very gifted and does have some psychic <laughs> abilities. Because there's certain things she has told me um, during the session that was completely true yeah. and I think that's yeah. what's sp um, special about Mama Oracle is that you're more of a spiritual counselor versus mm -hmm. just um, a Reiki master but she'll actually sit with you after and after the session we speak about what we felt mm -hmm. and she'll tell me what she heard mm -hmm. or what she felt mm -hmm. and then it kind of opens questions for you to go home and do your homework yeah. I'll give you like stuff to do like a homework or I'll even do like some counseling sometimes, that's why like my sessions could yeah. last longer because I don't want you to go back home and go back to the same habits that gave you those blockages. I want to give you solutions to make sure that, um, I mean obviously you're, we're always going to have blockages because like we deal with situations yeah. on a daily basis, but I want to give you solutions to like know what to do when you feel like those blockages are coming back. You often say that you speak to my spirit guides. Mm -hmm. like. For anyone like watching and listening, what does that even mean? Like, spirit guides are like your guardian angels. Um, for those who believe in it, um, we all have like spirits that walk with us. They're our ancestors or like angels, um, ascended masters, uh, um, guardian angels, and they're here with us on a daily basis. And they're here to guide us, protect us, um, and basically all they're waiting for is for us to talk to them and tell them what we want, what we need. And uh, when I do my sessions, I call uh, your spirit guides, and even if I wouldn't call them, the energy is so high that it always attracts them. And you've said that to me before, like, you were at my head, but I felt hands on my stomach. Where yeah. I felt, and I don't want to scare anyone, like, there's no ghost <laughs> <laughs> in the room, but it's just like, they're there, and it's like a high energy, it's a healing energy, so of course it's going to attract them, and they're going to do the work with you, because that's what... One of their tasks is like to protect you and, and heal you. If I have, they have something to say and like maybe they feel like you don't see the signs or like you don't get the message, they'll come through me because I have the ability to hear them. So like I'll give them to you after. And um, and yeah, with you it's always sweet. It's always accurate. Yeah, and she says I have a lot of yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And the army. <laughs> army. Nally's yeah, army. Nally's army is real. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> A lot of people see, hear the, her title, Mama Oracle, and mm -hmm. picture you with like your glass, my crystal, crystal ball. ball. And... <laughs> That's not what happens. She really guides you and asks mm -hmm. you these questions for you to then ask them to yourself when you get home and really do the work um, inside. I'm not gonna lie to you. Most of the time, I know the answer to oh, what I'm asking oh. because I see. I but my way of working is I'm going to ask you because I want you to think about it because the answer is already in you. So you, you have some of my answers? I do. <laughs> Cut! You figured out most of them. <laughs> and we're always in sync because yeah. what I feel and see during a session, she also feels feel. and see. And like I always test her too. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you go you first. So, yeah. You tell me first what she you felt that a lot. You go first. You go first. Like, oh. So that way you know. Like I, I want to make sure. I don't want to be like, okay, you're just saying what I said. Yeah. But So we'll alternate and rotate. Mm -hmm. And every and time it's always similar. It's always similar. Always. A big question. I'm sure you're probably asking yourselves right now is, do you have to be spiritual to undergo Reiki? No. People would be surprised to know that there's a lot of religious people who come um, do Reiki. They like, they're not into spirituality at all, but <clears throat> I guess they hear like the benefits or, you know, I, I know a lot of people who like go to church all the time and they'll ask me questions and and then they come and they try it. I had like a regular client, like she's a church girl, you know, wow. but she does Reiki all the time. I have people who don't believe in anything and they come and do Reiki all the mm -hmm. time, you know. For example, engineers, which is also another type of client that I have a lot, like they're totally not about spirituality, but when they see things and they see colors, they're like, oh my God, I need to continue doing this because yeah. now it's challenging my way of thinking. First of all, I believe that we're all spiritual because we're all a spirit and a body. Um, but we don't all practice our spirituality, but you definitely don't have to have like knowledge or do some kind of spiritual practice to come and do this, no. 
Number one, I would say stress and anxiety. And like, if we take your example, like, yeah. remember how at first you always had your post about anxiety, and now it's like non-existent. Number two, I would say um, traumas. Mm -hmm. For example, I have a lot of clients like who went through childhood trauma, sexual abuse, and and um, they always say that they feel like it heals more, like it works more than therapy. Because yeah. therapy will help you process things in your mind, but then you still have those emotions and those energies that you can't get rid of. Reiki will tackle that. Number four, I would say body pains and aches. And I remember like when you did a few sessions like before, like when you used to do chemo, you had numbness. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. And then it would be gone after you'd be like, oh, oh I can move my yeah. neck. Spiritual awakening, definitely. Because most people who are not connected to their inner self or they don't have any spiritual practices, their third eye is like either not active or blocked. And it definitely opens your third eye, um, helps you to have visions, um, have a stronger intuition, be more connected with yourself and others. Um, I would say spiritual growth, um, even like personal growth. I've had a few clients who came and they were like, you know, I don't know anything about myself and I'm very shy and I can't do anything. I don't know what my purpose is and um, I need clarity. So they, they'll do Reiki, they come like, mm -hmm on a weekly basis or like bi-weekly and it helps them to figure out what it is that they want or what it is that they're meant to be doing. Women who come, um, like pregnant women, I have a lot of pregnant women who come and it not only helps them to um, release acid reflux, but it also helps them to sleep better, especially when they come to like full term, they like have trouble sleeping and oh yeah, like, can't insomnia. Eat. Yeah. Whether it's because of anxiety or because you're thinking too much or because you're pregnant, it really does help you sleep better. Because all um, the thoughts that you normally have mm -hmm. at night that can't prevent you from sleeping, mm -hmm. you can like yeah, and it's such a relaxing let them practice. Go. It's like it just knocks you out. Now you understand why I've been doing Reiki once a week with Tamara. Yeah. Now, if you want to try Reiki, um, you can obviously book Mama Oracle. I'll mm -hmm. put her information below. You can follow her at Mama Oracle on Instagram. If you're not from Montreal, what can someone look for in a Reiki master? Definitely, I would say warmth because you know, it's like I said earlier, it's a very intimate practice. You don't yeah. want someone who's cold, someone who doesn't take the time to talk to you, get to know you, understand what you're going through. Um, just like a doctor, you know, sometimes exactly. you, you tell the doctor like, oh, I'm feeling this way, and they're like, take a time, I don't know, it next. You don't yeah. want someone like that. Like, you want someone who's going to take the time to listen to you because like they're dealing with your healing, which is like something that's super important. Yeah. They're dealing with your well-being, they're dealing with your spirit, your body, someone that you feel connected to. Yeah. And even me, like, I don't believe that everybody who comes here connects with me, like... Which is fine. Yeah, which is fine. Like, yeah. you know, there's different personalities for different people, but you definitely want that connection. Um, it makes things easier, it makes conversation easier, you feel understood better. And try it more than once, you know, yeah. before you make that decision yeah. whether that person is right for you. Because, yeah. Or if, especially if you're basing it on how you feel, yeah. like, oh, I didn't feel anything, like... yeah. Do it more than yeah. once to be able to determine whether you feel anything or not or if you feel a connection. Yeah. If you want to heal, like my naturopath always says, it takes time to get sick and it, time, it takes time, time to, heal. to heal. So you have to be patient with yourself and be patient with the energy. Yeah. But one thing that I'll do say though is um, the people who came and they were so determined, like I want to get rid of this and I'm ready for transformation, it happens very quick. Wow. Yeah. Well, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> And that explains a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think what I'm going to do is, um, in my blog post, I'm going to write some diary notes that I took because I would journal after each session. And I'm going to open up and I'm going to share Ooh. some big revelations. So if you're watching this on YouTube, go on to nally.ca. I'll link the link in the description below. And the blog post itself, when you look um, in that post, you'll see some of my biggest revelations. I don't want to read that. <laughs> <laughs> Except I'll block it for Mama Oracle. No, don't. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you give yourself this time. You mm -hmm. gift yourself this time for you. It is truly a gift to it yourself. It is a gift. Um, it, it is. It's a best thing to invest in mm -hmm. is yourself and your healing yeah. because it's going to unlock all your other goals that I'm sure you have a long list of for 2019 mm -hmm. whether it is you know beating cancer mm -hmm. or even just starting XYZ as a project mm -hmm. um, 
when you start with healing yourself and like things like Reiki and um, just taking care of yourself, all of your goals are gonna come. Yeah, and nobody else is gonna do it for you. No one else is gonna do it for you. So if someone wants to book a session with Mama Oracle, what can they do? They can either message me on Instagram or send me an email. I'm very rarely active on Facebook, like my app never works on my phone for some reason. <laughs> Um, so Instagram or email. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be releasing videos um, quite frequently now because I have a wealth yes. of knowledge to share. <laughs> <laughs> and also please subscribe to my newsletter because then I'll send you love letters straight to your email inbox. Thank you. Be kind to yourself. Thank we you. will see you soon. Bye. Bye.